Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to do a Hearts of Iron 4 tier list here and it's going to be the different battalion types that you can add to your division templates. So let's get into it here. The first type of battalion or regiment, if you want to call it that way, uh, is infantry and infantry is going to be obviously the most common type of regiment in Hearts of Iron 4. And pretty much, uh, I would rank it as A. You can go infantry only, it does work, and then you can put all other types of regiments or support regiments into your division template, and it'll work with infantry. Uh, just a really good, solid thing. It is kind of boring, that's why it's an A. I would put it as S if I could. Uh, but it is kind of boring, so we'll leave it down at A, but it is very good. Paratroopers are a little more spicy. In order for them to be useful, your division has to be all paras with whatever type of support you want filtered into it. Uh, you can use them for speed runs. For most countries, it does take an extra research to get them. I'm going to put them as B because they're not available to every country, really. If you want to uh, make an OP build or something like that, you're not going to be able to do it with every single country. But most majors can use paras effectively, and there is massive downsides to using paras because they can get encircled very easily. So I'm going to keep them as B. The next type of regiment I would mostly use in motorized and tank divisions, and it is very useful uh, and necessary, and it is... Uh, mobile infantry and mobile infantry is good because of its speed rating and it also is a good backbone for tank regiments and it could be good just as a straight up uh mobile infantry division just having all of uh, these types of regiments in it so i'm going to rank it as b not for every country because a lot of the countries don't have generals with mobile, I believe it's mobile infantry expert or combined arms expert. Yeah, I think it's combined arms expert. Uh, so if that's not available to you, you might not want to use those types of divisions. The next type of regiment is mountaineer. And mountaineers are going to be another B lister for me. Um, yeah, necessary if you're attacking in mountains, but doesn't do anything if you're attacking on the steppes of Russia. So it depends where you are on the map. They can be absolutely critical or do nothing for you. Uh, so I'm going to put them as B just because when you do need them, you absolutely need them. Like if you're attacking from Austria into Italy. Yeah, 10 out of 10 in that situation. But if you're in Operation Barbarossa, they don't do anything. You could just use infantry. The next type of regiment is has a lot of flavor they're armored mobile infantry and um yeah they're great but they don't scale well and they're very expensive and they cost a lot of technology to produce so i'm just going to keep them down as c if you can somehow build a strategy around it you have combined arm as experts as generals it could be great but not playable for a lot of countries not a lot of countries at all. Uh, so I'm going to put it down at C. Okay, the next one is got to be top tier here. And that's artillery regiments. And basically, the artillery regiments are useful in for every country, especially if you're doing superior firepower. There's a lot of meta-based strategies using um, artillery 7-2 divisions or... Uh, you could just use them in support regiments in any type of division template. They're useful. So definitely S tier. And we're even going to give them a little sound animation here. Definitely 10 out of 10 there. The next type of regiment is one that's near and dear to my heart. And that is AA. And I'm going to put that as A because they can be used to combat enemy air and enemy tanks. They do have a piercing value to them, and it can really shore up your build if you use them instead of AT, because uh, they can be used as in an anti-tank role, in a dual role. So any type of equipment that can be used in multiple roles is going to be absolutely critical. 
definitely A, um, although if you're not going up against nations with a lot of air or tanks, not as useful. That's the only reason why they're A and not more. The next is amphibious tanks in Amtraks, and I'm gonna put that at D because you could just use Marines and probably be pretty well off. It is expensive to build these divisions and it is a fairly niche division. If you're playing a country that's not gonna do a lot of amphibious landings, you're absolutely not gonna build these ever. So definitely a D ranking there. Uh, the next one is anti-tank. And I'm gonna put that as a D as well because I can always upgrade AA and do the same thing and combat enemy air. So we're gonna put anti-tank a little lower. Could be useful in multiplayer games if your opponent is going heavy tank. Uh, it would be absolutely critical in that niche situation. The next regiment type is armored cars, which can be used in, a multi in multiple roles. So they could be used in resistance suppression divisions and also in like armored recon divisions where they will actually improve the initiative of your individual combat. So in other words, your general gets to pick its uh, combat tactic first. So it is useful in that role, raising up your general's initiative, and then also it can give a lot of other stats and it is a little speedy as well. So I think it, it is armored, so it will give you uh, your division template in a uh, higher armor ranking as well. So pretty spicy. We got that with the law resistance meta. The next one is bicycles. And I'm going to put it as a B lister because it's not available to every nation. They're basically like infantry that are a little quicker. I'm not sure if their production values are higher. Someone can answer me in the comments below. Mainly I've used bicycle divisions as Japan and they are great. I would use them every time if it's available to you. Typically you have to do uh, like a focus tree to get them. All right, moving on to cavalry. Pretty much necessary in almost every situation for me for resistance suppression, but kind of boring, uh, but boring in a very good way. I also use them to follow up my armored spearheads and exploit gaps in the enemy line because I get, I use them as speed bumps and they're fairly cheap to produce and they're quicker than infantry. So it's nice to have them trail the armor's spearhead. Also, you can use them in a resistance suppression role. And I think almost everyone would do that because they're so good. They're only not S because they're pretty boring. Um, the next one, let me give you a little hint at where we're going here. That's right, S tier for Marines. You can pepper Marine divisions into infantry divisions and give your infantry divisions a little better amphibious assault. And it's an interesting point to note, note here that works across rivers as well and not just in an, in an amphibious landing role. So you can make really excellent divisions with uh, these Marines uh regiments so i would say yeah 10 out of 10 uh it's definitely a way of um spicing up any infantry template and uh you're gonna be crossing rivers at some point so if you could build them it would be good to have and to insert into your infantry division templates all right the next three tiers are going to be centered around tanks and I know a lot of people don't like light tanks because uh, they're not that interesting, but I love them. They're cheap, reliable, easy to produce. They're fast. The speed ranking uh, is one of my favorite rankings on my division templates, and uh, they're obviously the fastest version of a tank. So we're going to put them as an A-lister, and then... You know what? I'm going to put an A-list for my medium tanks too. Overall, good speed, good uh, armor piercing. Um, basically, you can use this instead of AA or AT because they have good piercing and good uh, d armor in general. Um, so I'm going to put them as A as well. 
And then the major debate here is what to do with hev heavy tanks. And we're going to put heavy tanks as B. Uh, I've heard a lot of debates that uh, MP games from MP players that they like to use mediums or heavies. I kind of find it a bridge too far in terms of creating heavies because they are resource intensive and uh, production intensive and uh, also take a lot to to get to research wise. And it's it's really hard for a lot of nations to utilize heavy tanks. So I'm going to put them down as a B if you can get there. They're awesome. They're really fun to play with. So, uh, yeah, if you can play as Germany and produce heavy tanks, you'll see how powerful they are. The, the different flavors of uh, mobile artillery and uh, AA and SP mobile artillery. Um, so let's go with AA artillery first. Uh, I'm going to put it as F because I don't think there's a use for them in Hearts of Iron 4 at all. It's easier to just do support AA regiments and you're done. Uh, in terms of any type, heavy, medium, or light anti-tank, uh, I'm going to put that as C because in late game you can add mobile anti-tank units to... Uh, spice up any type of division, but it's going to be fairly niche and it's going to be fairly late game. And in terms of SP artillery, I'm going to put that as a B ranking. It's not for every country. They are quite good and uh, they do increase your firepower and mobility. Uh, but I'm going to put them as a B, B lister because they're not useful for every single country, uh, but they are quite useful. And uh, I think that's it in terms of the different flavors of tank that you can, can modify into. I don't use them a lot, but if I do, it's typically SP artillery. And then there's the different types of mobile, like artillery, um, AA and AT. And yes, there is a role if you want to spice up your mobile infantry divisions but you could probably do just as well making them all um, support regiments. So that's why, you know, they're pretty expensive for what they are, considering you could just put in support regiments and get a similar effect to all these things, and it's like a tenth of the cost or something like that. So I'm going to put them as F because I don't really see where... The value is there, and I've never really found a point where I have enough trucks to actually use them where I wouldn't just put the trucks in a tank division or a uh, mobile infantry division, if you get where I'm coming from there. It's like, if I have a truck, I would rather have a tank division in every single case. I would not like to make uh, these types of, de of regiments down below. So that is going to be about it for this tier list. Please leave a like and subscribe and tell me in the comments below if you disagree or agree with me. But that's basically my rankings of these different types of regiments in Hearts of Iron 4. All right, see you on the next one.